this is, what's that? Yeah, zebras. This is Julia Shida. She's a librarian in the town of Tofield, 65 kilometers southeast of Edmonton. She lives on a quarter section of land just outside of Tofield in Beaver County. Julie and her husband Toyo have been community members for eight years. Unfortunately, their home and their way of life have been threatened by a strip mine and coal gasification plant known as the Dodds Round Hill Project. If the project goes through, it would force the Ishidas off the land that they have called home. Julie's land would become a coal strip mine operated by Sherrick Coal. The coal would be gasified into another form of energy, a synthesis gas similar to diesel or hydrogen. Uh, the original proposal was Sherrod International, uh, along with uh, it was getting funding uh, with from the Ontario Teachers Pension Plan, which is a huge investment uh, plan. Sherrod approached us and they, they tell us that they want to uh, have a large strip mine. It won't cover it all at once, but it covers 312 kilometers. It, it runs basically from, from east of Riley to west of Tofield, uh, south of Highway 14. The Sheetas and their neighbors' concern over the project led them to band together so that their voices could be heard. Vocal is the voice of community and land society. Vocal was born almost a year ago, about 10 of us got together. We started at our neighbors over yonder, a mile over at Bill's. We just asked ourselves a simple question. We said, do we want our homes and our community destroyed? There wasn't one person that sat at that table that could answer anything but no. So we said, well, if no is the answer, what are we going to do? If we don't want this thing to go, then I guess then it's, it's up to us to say no. And that's, that's how we started. Our first goal is to stop the project. One of, one of our goals is, is to talk about uh, environment and talk about, uh, um, as, you know, as I said, conservation and alternatives and that sort of thing. Other people like Julie have committed themselves to volunteering at Vocal while still carrying out their busy lives. The members of Vocal range from secretaries to farmers to oil field workers to one man who has committed himself to the environment by reusing old vehicles. Nine board members of rural backgrounds, backed by 130 members, have taken a stand against the Dodds Round Hill project. But this issue is not just us against them. Unfortunately, it is much more complicated than that. Those against the project fear for the loss of their homes, livelihoods, and in some cases, their ancestors' homesteads. Imagine how I felt when I heard that someone was going to take all of this away from me. Our historical farm site, the home where I grew up, the place where I am raising my family, and the neighbors that I have grown to love. Every tree, every pond, everywhere that I have memories from my childhood would be gone forever. There would be nothing to come back to. The Dodds Round Hill project has raised concerns from environmental groups across the province. There are several major concerns over the impacts that a strip mine would have on the area. The land is base of human life. <laughs> kind of you go in, tear up land, you take it out of production for seven years, and then you kind of try to put it back. Uh, and how good will that land be afterwards? What will happen to with the, the surface water? What will happen to the aquifers, the wells? How is that going to affect your water to have the land disrupted that much? Native areas, the natural areas that I have here, are going. It's going to be a biggest loss. Woods, some wetlands, some uh, even just uh, bush piles. You know, I feel strongly about losing the the natural habitat that's here. Wildlife is a is a big thing. There has been bear seen around there. Um, there's moose up there. There's heck. A few years ago, how many? About ten. There was cougars out there. Just uh, the fact that it's like 312 square miles of agricultural land being taken out of <laughs> an area simply by disrupting an area that size, you're going to have an impact. 
The Dodds Round Hill area has had previous experience with proposed large-scale coal projects. In 1974, Calgary Power had its sights set on mining the same area, but affected landowners, like today, organized their efforts and formed the Round Hill Dodds Agricultural Protective Association, RH DAPA for short, to oppose the proposed mine. We were very fortunate. Our MLA at that time was Gordon Stromberg from New Norway. believed that we were the people that elected us, therefore it was his duty to represent us. They almost threatened to kick him out of the caucus. They changed their tune and then they, they put an end to, uh, to the, the coal development. Although the landowners are against the mine, there are those who wish to see it go through. There are those who see the proposal as coming at a perfect time. There are some people that it would be to their benefit, and I don't hold that against anybody. If you're at a time in your yeah. life when it's time to move off your land, you're getting up in years, um, it's your retirement. They don't want the land to be mine, but they probably don't have anybody to pass the land on to or anything. They're ready to retire in some cases, so if they could sell to somebody and get a reasonable price for it, you can't blame them for that. Within the five closest municipalities of the mine, Riley, Tofield, Round Hill, Beaver County, and the County of Camrose, there are people who support the project, hoping for development in their areas. There are preliminary and long-term economic benefits to the surrounding areas as Sherritt has outlined in community presentations and newsletters. The construction is estimated at being between $1.5 and $3 billion. There will be 1,000 workers for construction at peak times and 300 permanent workers employed for operation of the mine and gasification plant. And the area may gain attention as it is the first gasification plant in Canada which will also store the carbon dioxide it creates underground. I don't see any negativity for the town. In the form of creating jobs, creating demand for uh, uh, more, uh, for the town to expand, bringing in more business, creating more tax base, more luxury, more easement to, to, to uh, 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 build facilities and uh, more service in the town. Ultimately, no one knows if the coal gasification project will move forward and be approved, or if it fades away like the 1974 proposal. Will the landowners repeat history by playing on the importance of agricultural land? They represent Alberta cultural heritage, environmental stewardship, and the rural way of life. And an organization formed out of their struggle to work in their defense and solve an issue of how their land would be used. But it faces a corporation who will bring jobs to the community and provide a service to the province. There is no easy solution for Julie and her neighbors, so where do they go from here? They need to find a way to fight for their primary goal while suggesting alternatives for the community and the province. Dog was dry, so I went inside us. Maybe you're like me, always stuck between. I sense this fire.